Okay, I'm going to start the car up and uh, show you these wires. There are six wires. Do not make this harder than it really is because it is really simple to get this thing going. Off the harness, you've got these two ring uh, connectors here. Okay, positive for the red, black, of course there. You cannot go wrong on that. Now, also, this other cable right here and this uh, black uh, thing right here goes right here this is your original type plug you know so orange goes here let me pull these out of here see that you can't go wrong on this orange and black now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little ends off and use the original type plug like this. You can get these plugs on Amazon. You can get them anywhere. They're not very expensive if this clip is broken. But that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead. Let's slip these on there. They'll go on there. You could leave it this way if you wanted to. But I'm not. I'm going to cut it. Now, where I have cut these wires, okay, I'm laying it right here. Okay, this is the other end of the wire. All right here's where I cut it. Okay, your white wire is going to go to the black. Right here. And the other red wire is going to go to this orange right here. Okay, that's it. Six wires. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just tape them up, get you some uh, shrink wrap, whatever you want to do. Solder it if you want to. You're going to have to probably lengthen some of these wires because there's not much room under the Fox bodies here to put this thing. Okay, I had one over there for a while, but if you got a cold air intake, it could be in the way. So you can slip it down through here. You know, my car has all been messed up and rewired, but it runs great. Slip it through here, get you a little hole somehow in here. A lot of wires coming through here if you haven't uh, if it's stock still but you should be able to slip some of these wires through there okay now I'm going to start the car up and then I'm going to finish up by showing you the one I got in my 88 but watch how quick this thing starts now well maybe not That's it. That's how easy this is. Here's a little harness that you can uh, purchase. You see, I got me one there, but I'm not using it. I'm. Uh, I don't want all these plugs up under there. So don't be afraid to cut some wires. So, and it says it right in here too, Ford Ignition. Shows in there with your instructions. This thing is so easy to hook up. I'm gonna show you, it's six wires, and you will not need this harness if you do it this way. Easy, and you'll have it running uh, real soon. It took me about five minutes to get this thing running. So I'll show you how here in a second here. And also, for a little bonus, I've got the uh, Summit Racing um, CD in box in installed in my other Mustang, and I'm going to show you that and start that car up. I'll start both cars up, the 89 LX and the 88 GT. Okay, go get you some uh, shrink tubing or whatever they call it, like this. You can get it anywhere. Get it AutoZone for sure. Pick out the right size. Slip it on here. Push these up a bit. Okay. Take your wires. And something like that. However you want to do it. That's the way I do it. Real tight like that. Take your other. And like that. Okay. Now we're going to solder this. Get your weller out or your you can get the uh, any kind of soldering iron will work for this right here. 
might take just a second to heat up. Just a second, bear with me here. Something like that. Kind of windy out today. Okay, it's starting to go. You don't need much on here, just sticking them together is all you're doing. Need the rosin core. Here it's starting to melt. That like that. Just a little bit on there. That's all you really need. Okay. Now, take your little shrink tubing, and that's real good and tight there. Slide your shrink tubing up on here. I hope I got the right side. Well, this is the only one I could find, so it's not really fitting over there. I, I needed one to just a size bigger than that. But I'm going to show you how it works anyway. You you get the uh, gist here. One of these. Take you. I'm going to redo it. I'm just trying to show you here. Get a little cigarette lighter. I don't smoke. Uh, just go like that. Shrink it up. That's all you need. So, there you go on that one. Here's a little piece I cut off. The ones I had right in here. Orange over here, black over here. Okay, I might be a little redundant here. I'm just trying to show you. Where you have cut it right here, here are the bitter ends. Your red coming off this right here will go right here, of course. Your white will go on this black. Okay? Okay, page 16 it's for your Fox Body guys. Ford TFI Thick Film Ignition. This is your thick film ignition right here. These go out, your car won't fire up, go get you one of these. Uh, it caused me a lot of problems. I couldn't get it started uh, for a long time and didn't realize this was the problem right here. So there you go. So now, what do I want to tell you here? Okay, this cable right here, violet, violet and green right here. Not used for what I'm doing here. The gray wire and it would plug right here this gray wire right here right here is for a tachometer which uh, so easy to hook up again with this system here and I'm probably gonna put a tachometer on this pillar right here just a little small one just for looks okay so that's the way that's gonna go and okay that's about it uh, good luck on that don't be afraid to get this thing uh, don't be afraid to cut a couple wires and do this get you one it's a nice upgrade to your fox body so hope that helps okay just as a bonus I'm going to show you my other uh, ignition box the summit racing capacitive discharge Okay, on this, this is my uh, favorite car here. This is my 88. I'll show you how it's installed here. And again, I'm working on this thing. These wires will all be cleaned up. I'm just uh, still trying to tune it right there. This is my Summit Racing. Very easy to hook up. Here's my uh, Terminator X. A little extra screen. I'm going to start this one up, but yes, all this will be cleaned up. So I'm just getting everything straightened out. Windshield wipers and fan. This electric fan right there. So let's, let's start it up. And it is definitely not tuned right. Uh, let's see, where'd my dog slip out here? Hey. Hey, you know how to be out here? Hey, Lucky, you get back in here, you bad boy. Hey, don't you growl at me. I will beat you up. He's my buddy right there now. You're supposed to be in here. You get on up in there. That's my boy. 
Now, where was I? Okay, we're going to start this up. It's cold natured. I got a dual sink, poly dual sink distributor that I cannot get working. So I'm still working on that. There's my new Excel coil. eBay, and they're pretty cheap too. And they're, they got a lot of uh, juice coming out of that. Okay, let's start this thing up. Fuel pump's going. There it is. Probably a little light over here somewhere. Like I say, I'm, it's not tuned right. I'm going to take this into the Holly certified tuner. It's in Cleves, Ohio, and the guy knows his stuff. I've been over there once, but I lost a tune when I uh, messed this. I had to send my uh, ECU back. I crossed a couple wires. They took care of me. Okay. Here's where I'm going to put a little tack up here, I think. I've got this thing there. Just drill a little hole there. I don't care. Touch screen here. And here we go. Trick flow. Stage 2 cam in it. See, it's doing that. So, I know how to tune it a little bit. Definitely know how to tune it. I'm, but uh, I'm not as good as the uh, certified guy. So I need to take it back over there, really. But it'll start. It's a little monster here. Might have to do that twice. Yep. One more and it should hit. Let's give it another one. I'm going to re put a flash a new tune in here today. This uh, right here is where you put your little card right there. I'll do that. There you go. We'll settle down here in a minute. 